So filming these videos with Drew is definitely a little bit different. It's not your typical web video where you show up at a park, film for a couple days, and then you know edit the thing real quick and just get it on the web. It, it's special. Drew goes into these videos with a plan. It's not necessarily a wish list to pull tricks. It's, it's a plan to build new setups, new ramps, to make new tricks possible. And it's, it's really not something you see that often with riding edits of any kind. It, it's different, you know, taking your time to build stuff to make an edit cool. And I think that really shows it's, it's definitely a little different, a little special. Going into this edit and having my last two edits from Joyride 150 do really well, it was just mo like motivating for me to try to see if I could one-up myself or outdo myself. Like, it wasn't for any reason to like, prove a point or anything. It was just, it was just me pushing myself. The best part about Joyride 150 is, is just the freedom it gives me, like that's the reason I fell in love with BMX is because there was no right or wrong way to do it and you could do it however you imagined it and you could bring it to life through just your imagination and, and that's what Joyride's been for me, like I get so many crazy ideas for this place and 95% and of the time the owners will agree with me and allow me to build what I want to build and, or change what I want to change. And, help give input to the park and it, it's almost like it's my own park. My name is Tyler Dawson, one of the builders here at Joyride. When Drew comes, it's a, uh, it's a pretty special time of year, you know, everybody gets really excited. Sessions go real late. I usually get very busy. When he shows up to the park, it's like me and him will kind of walk around and go through a few things. He'll tell me what he wants to film and get done. and have built some of the things I'm just like, man, there's no way you can jump from that back to that. Our roof here to the bottom of these uh, rafters is only 24 feet. And I've had to cut a lot of stuff out of the roof so he can make stuff like that happen. Like, you're, that's serious business there. Thinking up of some of the lines for my edit, I don't know, it, I just, I've always kind of looked at a park differently like I came from a motocross background where it's like if you can jump from one thing to another to get there faster then that you get around the track faster then that's kind of what you do and I kind of took that approach to BMX you know like there's like a quarter pipe or a box lip or whatever like that's a lip but you don't actually have to take it the way it's meant to be taken you can you can go different directions on it and you, I kind of just look at each ramp and then look like 360 degrees around it and see what's possible. Me personally, I like like a bigger setup. Like you don't have to do the craziest trick on it, but it, it's a little bit more intimidating, but I don't know, it, it's rewarding when you do a trick on a bigger setup for me. And, and then at the same time, like I feel like the way I look at it is it's safer, you know? Like you have a four foot ramp, there's not much transition to catch, like it's easy to go flat on. And then if you have bigger ramps, there's larger transitions, there's more ramp to catch. So the way I look at it is it's just safer. This is what happens when you think too much about BMX. You come up with different ideas.
it's not like I ever just like randomly think of an idea and just throw it up and go for it. Like I analyze every single line that I've done in this edit. Like I've analyzed every single trick and I've, I've been like, all right, like I want to jump this gap or I want to do a trick over this gap. Like I find a smaller setup like the gap and work my way up. Like it's all, it's all just working your way up. And that's how I kind of approach every one of my clips. Like I analyze it to the point where it's like, all right, I've done something similar or I've, I've wrote a setup like this. And if, if I just kind of combine the two, like I kind of already know what it's going to feel like. And hopefully it feels like what I think it's going to feel like. If not, it kind of surprises me. And that's where you get all my crash clips. The best way to describe filming with Drew on these edits is definitely kind of terrifying but awesome at the same time. I mean, I often joke about bringing a spare pair of underwear when we're filming just because it's often just scary to film some of the stuff he's doing because it's so gnarly. You know, it's like you always kind of want to better yourself and, and that's how I take my approach to BMX. I love the sport, but I'm a perfectionist and I'm stubborn so it's like once I learn a new trick, it's it's not like, okay, I'm content, I'm gonna stay here. It's like, all right, I, I've done this, like how much farther can I take it? Riding and filming and, and doing new stuff that you've never done before, it, it's a huge mental game. Like, if if you can envision it in your head and, and see yourself pulling it off and, and successfully doing it, then there's a really good chance that you can do it.